Hey guys, welcome back to All House Plants. My name is Stephanie. Today, at the special request of a friend, we're gonna do a quick video about how to prune a fiddle leaf fig tree. Pruning a fig tree, or any kind of tree for that matter, a chaflera, a rubber tree, should come in early fall, uh, which this is late August right now, so this is a good time to do pruning or it should be done in the summertime, or it should be done in the early spring. You want to avoid pruning in late fall or winter because it can stress out the plant or the plant can attempt to put out growth after the pruning and this resulting growth will be small and puny. So you don't want to prune in the winter time. So this is a good time to get your pruning done before the end of the growing season. So what we're gonna need for this is gonna be a pair of pruning shears, a paper towel, and a rubber band. And we'll go over what we're gonna do with all these things. Okay, so here is our paper towels, pruning shears, and rubber bands. Now, pruning shears are obvious. We need pruning shears to cut. The paper towel and the rubber band is for the sap that's going to come out of the fiddle leaf fig when we trim it. Now, most of the ficus family, fiddle leaf figs, ficus elastica, um, I'm not sure about ficus benjamina, but I would assume it's the same as the rest of the ficus. When you cut these trees, they put forth this incredible amount of white sap. Um, it's thick. It's irritating, um, it can be uh, make your hands red or give you a little bit of a rash. And also, when the sap leaks all over the plant, it, it will dry and become kind of dirty and discolor the stem and the leaves. So in order to prevent leaking sap all over the stem, dripping on the leaves, making a mess on the floor, we're gonna put a little Band-Aid on our pruning uh, cut. So what we'll do is we'll take the shears, we'll make our cut, and quickly take a piece of paper towel, wrap it around the stem, and secure it with the rubber band. Now I like to leave this little band-aid on for about a week just so that the stem can harden off, the sap can dry, and the paper towel will soak up any um, sap that comes off or comes up from the stem. I find that this method keeps my pruning clean. There's no sap on the floor, there's no sap on the tree. And when you take the little band-aid off, that it's a nice clean cut that's been healed over. So this is the method that I like to use. So let's get to it. All right guys, so this is the tree that we're gonna trim. And we are gonna trim this guy at the top here, this tall guy. He's kind of growing a little crooked and I'd like him to be a little straighter. So we're gonna cut him with the hopes that he's gonna grow um, next summer and put off some more branches. Now, you may be wondering where to prune. So that's simple. We're just gonna climb up on here. And you can prune anywhere in between the leaves. So for us, I'm gonna prune in this spot between this nice big leaf and we're gonna cut off these leaves here and we're gonna prune in this nice spot right here. Now, where you would not wanna prune is too close to like a prune site here already you'd want to, you know, give it a little bit of space to breathe. So if you wanted to cut somewhere closer, maybe here would be a good place. Maybe here would be a good place, but you could also prune below your prune spot here, and then maybe new growth would shoot out from here. But just choose any place between the nodes, and the nodes are where the leaves are coming out. So like I said, we are gonna prune right there. 
Okay guys, so we actually had to move over to this step. So the step down, and then I'm gonna get on this chair. Now, got our rubber bands here, pruning shears, and we've got our little band-aid. I like to tear a paper towel in half and fold it kind of like that. And then we're gonna wrap it. Essentially wrap it around the stem like, like that, okay? So I'm gonna get this all set up. The tree's gonna hold on to it for us. And I'm gonna be doing this one-handed, so we're gonna do our best. Now the last thing is I have a place to put this the um, the trimming here on this paper towel because we don't want sap leaking all over the place. Alrighty, here we go. So our cut is gonna be right here. And see how quick that sap comes. So we're gonna put a band-aid and we're gonna wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. on top. There. Ta-da! Now, I did not do a good throw with this. So see, we have a mess coming out here. Here, and see that sap. Okay guys, and that's how you prune a fiddle leaf fig tree. Now I will say this much, you saw despite my best efforts, I did make a small mess on the floor. And you guys may know that I do have dogs. So if you are gonna prune a fiddle leaf fig or any of the other ficus species, um, due to the fact that they do leak that white sap and very quickly, I would keep any pets or kids away from the area I did lock my dogs in another room while I was doing the pruning because they do like to get into everything and check out everything that I have going on. So I would do that. Uh, when you're getting ready to prune, keep toddlers away, small kids, and pets, of course. Thanks again for watching. We will be doing a species profile on fiddle leaf figs sometime here in the near future. But I did want to get this pruning video out for you guys before the end of the growing season. Uh, like I said earlier, now is the time to do your pruning before winter sets in. So happy pruning. Thanks for watching. Please like if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.